Epic wins its antitrust lawsuit against the Play Store. What does this verdict mean for Google? San Francisco. Google lost an antitrust lawsuit over barriers to its Android app store. As federal judge or federal court jury has decided the company's payment system was anti-competitive and damaged smartphone consumers and software developers. It's a blow to all major it's a blow to a major pillar of Google's technology empire, but it's a win for Epic Games the maker of the popular Fortnite video game that brought the lawsuit and analysis said for broader video game developer, the broader video game developer community. Blow are some questions and answers about what this verdict means. Why did Epic sue? Epic, which is based in Cary, North Carolina, filed this lawsuit against Google three years ago, alleging that the internet search giant had been abusing its powers to shield its Play Store from competition in order to protect a gold mine that makes billions of dollars annually. Just as Apple does for the iPhone App Store, Google collects a commission ranging from 15 to 30% on digital transactions completed within apps. How did Google lose? The jury reached its decision with just three hours of deliberation after listening to two hours of closing arguments from lawyers on the opposing sides of the case. They sided with Epic, whose lawyer depicted Google as ruthless bully, as a ruthless bully that deploys a bribe and block strategy to discourage competition against its Play Store for Android apps. Discourage competition. Google Epic lawyer Gary Bornstein, Bornstein said Google Epic lawyer Gary Bornstein said makes it too cumbersome or worries worrisome for consumers to download Android apps from other distribution outlets than the Play Store. Google makes it a challenge to put a com competitor on the phone powered by Android, Bornstein said. If competition were a race, it's like Google gets to run on a nice smooth track and everyone else has to run on quicksand. Its original lawsuit, Epic and Google, in its original lawsuit, Epic and Google, prevents app distributors from providing Android users ready access to competing app stores. Were it not for Google's anti-competitive behavior, Epic said in its complaint, Android users could freely download apps from developer websites rather than through an app store, just as they might do on a personal computer. Technically, it is possible to download apps from outside Google's Play Store, but Epic argued that for most people, this is too cumbersome, requiring as many as 16 steps, for instance, to download Fortnite. For those who try, Google sent... For those who try, Google sends a dire warning that scare most consumers into abandoning the lengthy process. Google's lawyer, meanwhile, attacked Epic as a self-interested game maker trying to use the courts to save itself money while undermining an ecosystem that has spawned billions of Android smartphones to compete against Apple and its iPhone. Epic's David vs. Goliath approach seems to have worn over the jury. A key witness, Google CEO Sundar Pichai said, or Pichai, sometimes seemed like a professor explaining complex topics while standing behind a lectern because of a health issue. Epic CEO Timothy Sweeney, meanwhile, painted himself as a video game lover on a mission to take down a greedy tech titan. What happens next? Google sought to avoid having a jury trial, only to have its request rejected by U.S. District Judge James Donato. Donato. Now Donato will determine what steps Google will have to take to unwind its illegal behavior in the Play Store. The judge indicated he will hold hearings on the issue during the second week of January. Google said it will appeal the decision, but Wedbush analyst Michael Pat uh, Patchner said the search giants face an uphill battle. While remedies Google must enact... While remedies Google must enact haven't been yet decided, Pastor said he believes that its rivals will focus on the fee the company charges developers in its store. In the app, Apple case, the judge barred the company from implementing anti-steering provisions. Pastor said that it's preventing developers from steering people towards third-party payment stores outside of Apple's own app store. While Apple's fees within its own store remain largely unchallenged, he added, the anti-steering prohibition has led to a slow creep of traffic towards direct-to-consumer transactions. Apple is still appealing the decision. Okay, we're almost at the end of this one. We ex expect Apple to ultimately lose its appeal, Patrick said in a research note. Google's loss, however, allows for direct store competition within its Android platform. We believe it's likely to result in lower platform fees over the next several years. 
What does the verdict mean for Google? Depending on how the judge enforces the jury's verdict, Google could lose billions of dollars in annual profit generated from its Play Store commissions. But the company's main source of revenue, digital advertising tied mostly to its search engine, Gmail and other services, won't be directly affected by the trial's outcome. Shares in Google parent company Mountain View, California-based Alphabet Incorporated, slipped less than 1% on Tuesday. The stock is up 50% so far this year. Didn't Apple win a similar case? Indeed, Apple prevailed in a similar case that Epic brought up against the iPhone App Store. But that uh, 2021 trial decided by a federal judge in a ruling that is currently under appeal at the U.S. Supreme Court. The nine-person jury in the Play Store case apparently saw things through a different lens. Even though Google technically allows Android apps to be downloaded from different stores, an option that Apple prohibits on their iPhones. Okay. Well, one of the big things that happened, and I'll give you guys some history on this, is that... Um, is that when Fortnite got really big, they started pushing back against the 30% fee that most uh, app platforms were charging to use their platform because Fortnite was just like losing 30% of their revenue straight to Google, who was all they were doing is kind of providing the servers for some systems. And that's really it. So this was in 2020, yeah, Ben says. So it looks like Google's gonna get hit over and over again. As I've heard from many ex-Google employees, from many ex-Google employees, Google is, has been totally taken over by um, by marketing people. And marketing people don't think about rules. They really, they don't. They think, oh, I can do this thing, and therefore, let's add this into the system. And that's where people are pushing up against right now. We can see possibly, too, Google is, um, at least with Google, now putting our location data locally on our systems, Google might be coming across that barrier where they are now being held responsible for all of the data that they are using, the, the data that they are basically hoarding, all the information, the software that they are hoarding. And they probably don't want that. Um, they are fighting, of course, to not have the responsibility. That's what this, this lawsuit is about, is Google doesn't want to have the responsibility or anything that goes on in the platform. Um, they just want to take the money and, and let it run as is and then make it really difficult for people to use other platforms. Now that they have to take their responsibility, hopefully we see Google open up as a tech platform and allow services to interact with it in a much more natural way. But... Again, this is one of those things that we're just going to have to see. We're just going to have to wait and watch the result of it. Um, and maybe other app stores become more popular than Google's app store in the future. Who knows? We'll see.